Good morning, this is Artie, the Vintage Stitcher. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. It is Monday, April 17th. It's been a week since I've been here. Um, last week was just a rough week. It was just one of those weeks where, <laughs> it was just a rough week. We had beautiful weather, don't get me wrong. We had 70s and 80s, all of our snow is melted, I was able to open the windows and do some spring cleaning and it's just a beautiful, beautiful week. Um, we had the grandkids over. We were able to go play in our creek that we have on our property and let kids be kids. It was so nice to see them just out doing normal kid stuff, you know, getting dirty and wet and climbing trees and playing with logs and sending stuff down the creek in the water and just all those things it was just an amazing an amazing evening that we sat and just watched the kids play um, so we've had wonderful weather it's been great um, but with that warmer weather comes allergy season and I have not been hit with bad allergies in years in years um, usually you know like one day and I'm done and I just kind of get it under control with like some over-the-counter allergy stuff and then I'm good to go or some raw honey and you know it's just I really don't suffer I suffer more in the fall when um, the big yellow flowers I think it's ragweed comes out um, I was totally laid up with allergies this week last week I I was on Benadryl I was on singular I was on everything I was on raw honey I was just trying to breathe <laughs> just breathe um, and I just was not feeling well so I did not do a vlog on Wednesday did not do a video on Friday um, between not being able to breathe through my nose and being on all sorts of medication I was very very foggy and just didn't feel well just didn't feel like doing much um, but I did get things, I mean, I got things done here. I got lots of stitching done. Um, I got, you know, some cleaning done. I had a fabric sale, all that good stuff. I did all of that. Um, but I was not feeling up to being on camera and speaking. And on, then on top of it, you have a sinus headache and I was feeling a little crabby and just, it was just a bad week, <laughs> bad, bad week. Um, but I am feeling better. I'm feeling better today. By Saturday, I was kind of, it was breaking a little bit. Um, so my mother-in-law and I went and got a Manny Patties. It was the first time she had ever had a pedicure or a manicure. Um, and I took her over to our nail design place here in, in town. And they just, they were so sweet to her. They had just massaged her feet and cleaned up her toenails and her fingernails and gave her a hand rub and did the massaging chair for her. And it was just, it was a good, good experience. Um, it's always super busy there, but they really took the time with her to uh, make her feel pampered. And um, it was fun. We had a good time. It was a nice, it was a nice girl's time for just us. And so we have pretty toes and pretty fingers. And <laughs> Nothing feels like spring, um, like going to get your toes done and getting all the calluses scraped off. <laughs> I had to tip them big. My feet were bad, <laughs> bad from the winter. So um, that was Saturday, and we had kind of putzed around the house and did a few things. And, um, and then Sunday, it rained all day. Sunday just rained all day and we just we just had a lazy day. I stitched all day. I got up, I swept the floor and we did some dishes. My husband cooked steaks for dinner and you know, but I basically stitched all day and just kind of sat around. You know, it was one of those days where you take a shower and you put on fresh pajamas and you just don't do anything. That was the day we had yesterday, which felt really, really good. So we got some good rest yesterday and now it's Monday. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> feeling much better much much better so let me show you what I did 
this weekend. I only got one customer finish done. I shouldn't say that. Last week, I had that pile of six quilts to do. Remember, I on Monday, I showed you the three I finished. Well, I had three more I had to finish. I had a deadline on them. So I finished th quilting those three quilts on my long arm, and then those are off and gone to the customer, so I can't even show them to you, but she will be bringing more today. Um, so with graduation season right now, I am really swamped with long arm stuff, which is good. Love it, love it, love it. There's no complaints. Um, business is booming and that's what we want, right? That is, that's the way we want it. So um, I did get those three other quilts quilted, but unfortunately they're gone already and I can't show you. So, but I did get a finish, an FF dough, an FF dough, an FFO done for a customer. And I wanna show you that because it's really, really cute. So one of those patterns, I I think I have the pattern. I have to go fishing for it. If not, it will be, even though I'm stitching from stash, it might be a purchase because it's really cute. Um, look at this. It's one of those I have always thought, well, you know, uh, I could take it or leave it. Now I have to have it. 99% of the time when I see it stitched, it's like, wow, I need to do this. Um, and this was just a super, super cute pattern. Um, she wanted a flat fold, so I did a flat fold. I just did a basic cording around there. Just a little tiny button, nothing fancy. The little fabric has pumpkins on it. And then, or the little ribbon, I should say. The little ribbon down here has pumpkins on it. And look at this fabric. I absolutely love this fabric with this piece. So, if you've done this and you want it done similar, get it to me because um, I only have a certain amount of this fabric. I don't even know where I got it from. And once it's gone, it's gone. That's just the way it is. Uh, you know, I have shelves full of fabric um, that came from all sorts of places and I only have a certain amount of yardage and once it's gone, it's gone. But this turned out so sweet. I absolutely love it. So that will be heading off to the owner this week. And I have other FFOs that I'm working on, but aren't quite finished. So hopefully by Friday, I will be able to show them to you. Okay, what did I stitch on? Didn't think I got a lot of stitching done until I put it all in one pile. And I'm gonna show you what I'm stitching on, and then I have this huge sneak peek for you of this upcoming um, pattern that's coming out. And the designer has said I can show it on my social media and show sneak peeks of it and stuff like that. So which is very exciting. A lot of times designers want to keep it a secret and then it's on a deadline and it's got to scoot out and you never see it until the pattern comes out. This one, she's like, no, show it on video, show it on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. So I'm very, very excited to show you that, but I'm gonna show it to you last because I'm mean like that, right? So what did I stitch on? I finished Basketful of Summertime. This was such a fun finish, or such a fun stitch. Um, I've been really into the smalls this week, which is good. I feel like sometimes when you feel like you can knock out a few patterns, you just kind of get inspired to do the bigger things. And I've been really concentrating on the um, designer stitch. So most of my like big stitching time would is being concentrated on that. So this is like my evening, hour before bed kind of stitching. So I finished a basket full of summertime. And this is by Brenda Gervais. And this is how it turned out. Look how cute that is. So this is on 18 count Ada. The color is Shadow. Um, I love this fabric. I will be ordering more of it. I had gotten it from Fat Quarter Shop as a stitch along um, with a Halloween piece. And I did the Halloween piece with it and absolutely um, loved it. And it had some little bits and pieces left over. So I stitched on this. Um, it's a nice versatile piece. It's not white, it's not brown, it's not gray, gray. It's just, excuse me, sorry. Um, it's just a nice neutral piece. It looks good with bright colors and it looks good with more primitive colors. So I'm loving it. Um, this pattern, I converted the fancy floss into DMC and just did DMC so that is what I did and one stitch over one 
and I love how it turned out. I did not leave myself a whole lot of room. So I don't know if I'm going to do a flat fold with this or if I'm going to do a little pillow with it. I'm not sure yet. It'll call to me when I get into the when I get into the sewing room. All right. I also worked on my April word play. April word play. These are so cute. And this also by Brenda Gervais. I love these. I've done a couple of them. I have June pulled out, um, getting ready for when April is done. I'm going to start with June. And this is mine. Look how cute it is. I'm doing it on 18 count white Ada. I'm using all the fancy flosses. This, these are ones that I have actually um, splurged a little and bought the fancy flosses for. So I'm doing it with the fancy flosses. And I'm thinking I'm going to distress this one with the antique spray. So when this one is done, I will show you, I'll do a video on the antique spray. I've been wanting to play with it a little bit and that's gonna be an upcoming video. So um, I might be pulling some fabric and see what, see what we got going with that. But this is a one strand over one. And I love these, I love these. The Brenda Gervais are fun because there's enough color changes where you feel like you're get, you're being productive. It's like you stitch a little, change a color, stitch a little, and you can kind of check mark off those colors, go in a list and check mark them off. And I like that. <laughs> My OCD really likes going down a list and checking things off. So <laughs> these are the perfect little projects for me to work on. All right, so I worked on that. The other one I was working on was this little um, freebie by Sabrosa de Design. It was from 2018. I don't even know if it's still on her website, if it's still out there. I printed it off. I don't even remember where I got. All I know is it's a free pattern by Sabrosa. Um, it's for a strawberry, for a strawberry. But I'm not gonna finish mine as a strawberry. I'm gonna finish mine differently. And then when I show you the FFO, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due because it was not my idea. But uh, so sweet. Look at this. Now this one, I just pulled from my box of leftover threads, my bag of leftover fabrics and little pieces. And I pulled this, this is actually a pink, like a pink modeled, fabric 18 count Ada pink and these I didn't even follow the thread colors I just pulled what I thought I would like and what I thought would look good and I like it I really really like it so I finished that up all right one more thing and then I'll show you the secret design all right Nothing hollers spring to me more than Lori Holt's stitch cards. I, I don't know why I just get in the mood to do these in the spring. I love the Christmas ones. Um, let me see if I've got the other ones here. I don't. I don't. Um, Fat Quarter Shop had sent me a bunch more of the stitch cards. And I was like, ooh, I forgot about those. So I pulled them out and I started stitching on them. And here's one. Here's that little teacup. Isn't it sweet? And then I started the next one. I'm starting the little teapot. I didn't get very far on it. Now with these, I don't call the, I don't pull the called for threads. I don't pull the called for fabric. I have a bag of like small pieces of fabric like this, just little pieces that are good for ornaments or small stitches or whatever. And they're all different color, random colors, random sizes. Um, random cuts they're just kind of in there but I don't want to throw them away because they're perfectly good for something right but I have these little cuts and then I have this box this is my lazy box it's my lazy box you can see I, I pulled colors for the stitch cards this is my lazy box this is the box where all the pattern are the all the loose here's my other stitch card I'll show them to you in a minute. All my loose threads go when I'm done with pattern. And I'm too lazy to put them back in numerical order in the boxes. This is what my lazy box looks like. I have rings of stuff. I have rings of fancy floss. I have rings. 
more rings. These are all from projects that I put on rings. <laughs> I have a thing of needles in there. Um, and then I have all these bobbins, all these skeins that I'm too lazy to wind. I have all these bobbins that are full of floss that either don't fit in my little case or I've used for other patterns and I'm too lazy to sit down and put them away. So they all kind of go in here. It's my lazy box, all right? And I throw all of these in here like this. This box I got a Dollar Tree, by the way. I'm a Dollar Tree lover. Throw them all in here. I snap it up and I throw it in my tote bag along with my a bag of misfit fabrics, all right? And then what I do is I grab patterns like my stitch cards. And I was sent some new ones, look at those. Oh, look at those, look at those, look at those. Yeah, look at those. And I throw those in here. And I throw it all in the tote bag with a pair of scissors. <laughs> And I stitch from that. Um, so I, if I have the called for threads in there, I use them. If I don't, I substitute. I do this in the summer with the stitch cards and small patterns like this. And I do it in the wintertime with my Christmas ornaments. And I just kind of work out of that. So like if I throw that bag in my camper or I'm in our truck when we're traveling, I just work from that. I work with what I have available. And you wouldn't believe the cute stuff when you kind of have to substitute and play with colors and think a little bit. Um, it's super fun. Super, super fun to just kind of randomly pull these things. Um, and like I said, all my fabrics are different sizes. So like this one is, this is a 16 count. This is 16 count. This is 18 count. So they're going to be all different sizes. And I'm going to finish them all different ways. Some of them I make into pillows. Some of them I make into flat fold ornaments. Some of them I make in and I mount them on stuff. All sorts of things. Um, but then when these are all done, I'm okay with giving them as gifts. I just hand them off or, excuse me, my tummy is like a little icky today. Sorry, um, but I hand them off as gifts or I make little Mother's Day gifts or I do little spring gifts or I just kind of pop them about and they're cute. They're cute on tier trays. So this is a fun way of not really thinking about what you're stitching. And I can crank out a bunch of these and, and they're just fun and they're just they're just super fun. All right. So that's my lazy stitching. It's my lazy stitching. Okay. The secret stitch. Many of you knew from last week that I started stitching for Mari Vitali of MTV Designs. She sent me a pattern and she needs it stitched and finished. Um, there's a little bit of a deadline on it, so I have been really, really concentrating on that. And um, it's 40 count linen. <laughs> so I literally had to go out and buy a magnify light. <laughs> Those things are amazing. I don't think I can live without it now. Even if I'm doing 14 count, I think I'm gonna work under that magnifying light. My my eyes are not strained anymore. Um, I never thought I'd be at that point, but here I am. And um, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> it makes things wonderful. So I am working on this stitch and she has said that I can do sneak peeks. So this is something that you have to wait until the pattern comes out watch MTV designs. She has Facebook, Instagram. Um, I think she, she you know, her, her, her patterns are available through your LNS only. So I think cause she goes through Hoffman designs or something like that, she sells to them. So you probably, I know you can buy some of her patterns on one, two, three stitch, watch for them there, contact your local LNS, ask for it. This is such a cute pattern. I'm absolutely loving every minute of stitching it. Um, look at this. Look at this. So I'm leaving it in the hoop because I have it set up exactly the way I want it. But look at this. It, it, the colors are beautiful. The colors are beautiful. 
Um, these are so my colors, the oranges and the golds and the rusts. And oh, I cannot get enough of this piece. Um, I absolutely love it. So this is one you really need to watch for when it comes out. Um, it's going to be a release here soon, I think. She hasn't told me what dates, um, but this is going to be so, so pretty. And we're going to finish it into a pillow. So I will show you the finished pillow before it goes out in the mail, okay? But check out her stitching. Um, you know, you browse through things and you look at pictures and it's so hard to know what you like when you're looking at a pattern like like this. It's it's hard to know what it really looks like in person and how it's going to turn out. And then when you stitch it, it looks beautiful. So I am absolutely loving this piece. It's a little wrinkled, so it doesn't look perfect. Once it's pressed and everything, it's going to look really good. And I have to put the back stitching on the wings. I do all the back stitching last. So, ah. Love it. So I will keep you posted on this because um, depending on when I get it finished and stuff like that, and it's got to go out in the mail, I may not be able to have it like physically in person on a floss tube, but I will show it on my Facebook and on my Instagram. Um, so Mari Vitali, yay, beautiful, beautiful work. I will definitely be looking up more of her patterns um, and working more of them. All right. So... I've got more. I've got more. I've got some, I've got some happy mail. Um, but I do want to remind you of the April giveaway of the month. I have, I haven't been here. Um, but we are going to have the April giveaway of the month. I'm going to look over the calendar. We will be drawing for that on April 28th. That is the last video of my April month. Okay. So there's many, many, many ways you can get involved um, in the giveaway of the month. You can do a super thanks, um, which is like a, a similar to a buy me a coffee kind of thing. And that's a, just a button down below. You can do a super thanks. You can purchase um, from my Etsy store. For every purchase, $10 purchase, your name goes into the drawing once. So you can purchase from my Etsy store. I am going to be having a sale on my Etsy store for the rest of this month. We need to clear out some inventory because we've got new stuff coming in. Um, the only thing that will be excluded is uh, the shirts, the shirts, the t-shirts and the sweatshirts. Those are, I'm kind of like helping Jenny um, get established with doing a merch. So the only ones that are not those will be excluded. So all of my inventory is going to be on sale um, for the rest of the month. We need to clear that out. So go over there. Hopefully there'll be some good deals for you. Um, there's not really anything new over there. I've been working on it, but we've been swamped. Um, the other way is to participate in my fabric sales, which are over on Facebook. I've been having fat quarter sales and fabric sales over there. And every $10 purchased is um, a name, your name in the drawing. Um, I will be getting fabric on my Etsy soon. I'm working towards it. I really, really am. Um, we have somebody who's going to start working for us this summer, and hopefully she will be able to do some of that um, technical computer stuff for me um, because I'm falling behind really fast on that. And so she will be doing that. But as of right now, all my fabric sales are over on Facebook. If you have friended me on Facebook and I have not replied, message me, okay? There are lots and lots of scammers out there and I kind of look at all my friend requests and if there's no mutual friends or it looks a little odd, I don't, I delete it. So if you have friend requested me and have not responded, please message me either through my email, um, Instagram, through Messenger or something like that and then I know you're a real person and I will um, friend you from there, and then you can get involved with that. All right, so what is the giveaway of the month? <clears throat> this month, we have a handy dandy backpack bag, tote bag. These were made by my mom, by my mom. She made these for us. So, so cute, by my mom. So they're a little backpack, and she did the subliminal printing on them. They're very vintagey. They're very faded and kind of... Um, How's that? Like washed out look? Really cute. 
in that bag, you're going to get a series of patterns. You're going to get the JBW French Country Rooster. I have stitched this. I'm paying it forward. Loved this pattern. Loved every minute of it. I have several copies of this. This is um, a Blueberry Homecoming. This is one I want to start this summer. Um, so this might be a stitch along. All right. And then you're going to get four patterns from Rosewood Manor. Four patterns of Rosewood Manor, okay? You're going to get the Irish Rose Blessing, Butterfly Flutterby, Give Me a Friend, and A Dream of Tulips. So you're going to get all of that. One person is going to win all of that. Um, for the April giveaway of the month. Okay, so to put that over here. More stitching stuff, more stitchy, stitchy stuff. That Cutter Shop sent me some patterns and they're so cute. And um, I'm gonna show them to you, okay? They sent me this welcome. Every time they package them though, I end up cutting the bag. How, how sad is that? I need to just pull those off. <laughs> I cut the bag. They sent me the welcome. That is so cute. And the March stackables. These are so cute. I know I'm not gonna get to these this year. This might be a next year thing. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. They also sent me the stitch cards that I showed you. And they sent me this cute little template, this flag day tumbler template. And it makes this little quilt. These are so fun. If you've never done a tumbler quilt, they are a lot of fun. Um, very, very cute. All right, so they sent those. Um, these may be giveaways. They may be, I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm so foggy still from last week. I'm not sure which end is up. All right. The other thing I have been printing off is, have you gone over to Pinker and Pumpkin blog? She is doing a spring stamp collection stitch along again. I did the fall one with her last last fall. I absolutely love it. I absolutely adore it. Um, I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you too much because that, there's no like finish. Go over to her site though, and you can see it. It's a stitch along. She releases like one every two days, or it's on like even days of this month or something like that. Super super cute. But it starts with framework like this. And the autumn one said autumn across the top. It was so sweet. And her theme is birds. Is birds. It's these little robins like this. I'm going to kind of just glance them through to you. I haven't printed them all. But I am eventually going to get started on that. Because um, that was so fun. It was so fun. The, um, once you get the framework done. And then you just kind of. You can stitch one of those little things, one of those little stamps, a, a night takes like an hour to stitch the little stamp in here. And then I had my, my autumn one framed in a really pretty frame and hung on my wall. Ends up to be, I think with the fabric that I did it on, it was like an eight by 10. It, it fit, it pops right into an eight by 10 perfectly. So if you have not gone over to Pinker and Pumpkin, here's her information. Here's the information go over and check her out. And if you go to Google and you just start typing Pinker and Pumpkin, it pops right up. Okay, I did splurge a little and I bought a couple patterns. Um, I've been doing really good, sorry. I've been really doing good with Stitch from Stash. <sighs> but Annabella's had a sale. Annabella's had a sale and it was like 40% off. And I, of course, you know, you're shopping through and blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. I bought two Twin Peaks Primitive Patterns because I absolutely love their patterns. Love, love, love their patterns. Um, and I'm, I bought these two patterns. They're kind of little on the funky primitive side. I loved them. Bless our home. Look at that. I love those willow trees. I love willow trees. <laughs> I could not resist. And it's kind of a, a funky, primitive willow tree. Uh, love it, love it, love it. Couldn't resist it. 
So I got that one and I got the, it's called Rich, The Richest Season of the Soul. And it is, it looks like an autumn, it looks like an autumn pattern, but these are the colors in my home. I have the oranges and the reds and the greens and the browns and that very rustic fallish colors in my home every day. So I loved this sampler. I love it. So I did purchase two, two patterns for myself. Um, but I've been doing really good with Stitch from Stash and freebie things and it's just kind of getting things done. And um, I'm starting to feel, starting to feel the reduction in my sewing room. You know, I'm working on um, quilts from Stash, and you know, even though you go on Fat Quarter Shop every single day and check out the the sale of the day, I have been really good about not purchasing anything. And I have put a few things in my shopping cart, and then I've gone, Artie, what are you doing? You don't have time to do that right now. They'll still be there. When you do have time, you can buy them then. Um, one of them I've been coveting for years is the Early Americans, Little House, Little House Needleworks Early Americans. I've seen Vanna Pfeiffer stitch it and absolutely love it, but I know I don't have time for it right now. I have other Little House Needlework collections that I have to get my butt in gear and stitch those, <laughs> stitch those first. I've been, this collection is getting out of, um, not out of control, but out of control. So stitch from stash, stitch from stash. They'll be there. They will be there. All right. <clears throat> that is what I have to show you for stitching. Let's give away some pillows. All right. Talk to you guys last Monday about these pillows. Um, they're a sponsor of the channel. They, uh, they're a huge sponsor of the channel. And they send me these amazing, wonderful pillows to try out. They have absolutely been life changers for me. Um, and I would not promote a pillow or a product that didn't truly help me or my family. Okay. So they sent us this pillow. And I've told everybody this story before. My mother-in-law has trigeminal neuralgia on one side. And she's in agony, agony most days. And a lot of it starts with the nerves in the neck. And I told her, I said, try this pillow. It has helped her immensely. Um, it has helped her a lot. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you medical advice. None of that. All that blah, 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 legal stuff. Okay. I'm by no means. All I know is it helped her. And it has worked wonders. So Cindy from Zamet sent us two more. And now my mother... <laughs> Is like, can I have your pillow? Can I have your pillow? Can I have your pillow? So I probably will be forwarding this pillow to my mother because my mom and my dad both have neck and shoulder issues and I want to see them comfortable. All right. But Zamet is giving away two of these. So we're going to draw two winners today. Sorry. Two winners today and you'll get a butterfly pillow to try. Okay. Unfortunately, there's only two winners. And reading everybody's comments, I honestly wish that I could gift every single one of you a pillow. I really do. Um, that's how much I believe in these pillows. I really, really believe that... Um, hang on one second. Sorry, runny nose. <laughs> it was getting away from me. Um, I really believe in these pillows and I wish I, I could send each and every one of you a pillow and uh, make you feel better. I really do. Um, with that said, um, they are offering 15% off if you use my link and there's a coupon code. I think it's already 15. I will leave that information at the very top of this video today so that you, if you want to go look at those pillows, um, you definitely can go look at them. 15% off is, is a lot. Uh, the pillows are a little pricey, but they are so worth it. Um, if you can't, if you don't want to try the butterfly pillow, the other thing that has brought me a huge amount of comfort is their neck stretcher, okay? Neck stretcher. And this is a little bit more reasonably priced. You get 15% off of this. And it comes with instructions, but I do this about 15 minutes every day. What I do is I do it when I lay down at night. 
um, I lay on this for about 15, 20 minutes. And then when I'm about to doze off, I take this out from under my neck and I sleep on my pillow. And this neck stretcher has done so much for my shoulder pain. So if you have a lot of shoulder pain or neck pain, this may truly help. And there's two strengths to it. If you lay on it this way, it's a, 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 a I'm trying to think of the word, a harder traction, not harder, but a more intense traction. If you lay on it this way, it's um, a lighter traction for your neck. Absolutely love them. Okay, so that's the end of the commercial, but we are going to pick two winners. Before I announce the names, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That truly, truly does help out the channel. It's helping us to grow. It's helping us build our business. And um, I've noticed the numbers on the subscriptions are kind of going up and down, which means sometimes YouTube kind of goes in there and takes off the subscribers who aren't active. So if you've been watching the videos and um, you notice that you're not subscribed anymore, please hit that subscribe button up again, get those numbers up there for me. It really, really is a free way for you to help us build our business and help us to move forward in our, in our goals. Um, and we're getting there. We're getting there. And it's all thanks to you guys. Couldn't do it without all of you. All right. So, all right. The winners of the pillow. Now, I'm going to announce these names. You need to email me at vintagestitcherstash at gmail.com. Okay. That is in the description below. Please email me and I will be forwarding your name to Cindy at Zamet, and then she will reach out to you and get your information so that she can send those pillows directly. They're coming directly from the company, okay? So make sure you email me first, and then I can forward that information. The lucky winners, Paula Medlock, Paula Medlock, and Hope Vergen, V-E-R-G-I-N, Hope Vergen and Paula Medlock. Congratulations, you guys. I really, truly hope that these pillows make a difference in your life. Um, and when you receive them, please give me some feedback and let me know how they're working for you. Um, I, I, I had lots and lots of people message me and tell me that it, they've been a life changer. So hopefully um, these will work for you. All right. Thank you, everyone, for all of your support. Um, I hope to be back Friday. With spring and summer coming here, you're probably only going to see me on Mondays and Fridays, all right? I might do a vlog in there once in a while, but I'm just too busy enjoying um, everything <laughs> to have a camera in front of me all the time. I Sometimes I like to put down the devices and just um, embrace the world. Okay, so when you're out and about in the world this week, please be kind, spread love, and find yourself peace.